All right, folks, here it is. This is that uh, million dollar pie, and I've got my cool whip on it, and I've got my cherries, and what I've done with the marshmallow cherries, I put them on a napkin out of the jar to try to absorb some of the juice so the juice wouldn't run. So you can see that's a good size stick pie right there. And honey, it is delicious. So there's your good side of that, and I'm gonna take a few pictures of it. Sheila E. from Tennessee, thank you so much. Hello guys, it's me again, Sheila E. from Tennessee, and I'm gonna make this uh, million dollar pie for my grandson. It's his birthday, and that's one of his favorites, so I want him to have this when he comes to see his grandmother uh, on Sunday, Lord willing. So what we're gonna start out with is one container, one uh, block, eight ounce cream cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and just beat it up with a mixer. It, uh, I didn't have it laid out to, so it's not room temperature. So it's straight out of the refrigerator, but it would have been a whole lot better if I could remember to lay it out and be at room temperature. Alright. There we go in that. makes their million dollar pies a little bit different. Some people put some, and I've got a, just a regular pie crust here. Uh, you can see here it's a food club and it's a deep, it's, well it's not really that deep, it just says it makes, it's a 10 inch pie crust, you have two extra servings. But I'm thinking that I'm gonna have enough. I've got some little bitty pie crust in there. Uh, if I have any extra, I'll put it in now. And that way he can take those home with him and put them in the freezer. And then you can take them out whenever you get ready to use them. All right, and they're just as good. You can eat them frozen or you can eat them plain. So that was one eight ounce package of cream cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and beat that up. Second, I've got two containers of whipping cream. Let me see if I've got a can of uh, condensed milk here. I don't think that there's one that's going there in my pantry. So hold on just one second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. So I've got a can of Food Club condensed, sweet and condensed milk. I'm going to open it. And I'm going to put it in with my uh, container uh, or my block of 8 ounce cream cheese. Food Club is, uh, you can use Eagle brand. I tend to use Food Club. I think it's just as good. It's just a little cheaper. I can't tell any difference in it in my desserts. Now, if you want a good summer pie, this is it. And it's rich and delicate, delicate and it's also dedicate. Decadent. I'll say that right here in a minute, all right? <laughs> you know how we are from Tennessee. We sometimes we have our own language. So anyway, it's decadent. So anyway, we've got that. I'm going to lay that right there. Wash my hands so I've got the sugar on it. So I'm going to beat that in with my uh, cream cheese mixture. This makes, I meant to get my other uh, room turkey crust log in there, but I didn't get off. I'll make another trip in there, okay guys? So you're going to beat this and it's so creamy. So get the lumps out of it. Alright, I'm going to beat that up. It's going to make two regular ones, or it'll make one big, big one and a couple small ones. So also it says on my recipe, one large can of crushed pineapple. So I also have a crushed pineapple. 
and you can use any kind you want. You can use a Del Monte, you can use an off brand. It's all the same. I can't tell. Well, I don't know if it's all the same, but I, in my desserts, I can't tell no difference. And as high as stuff is, you almost have to go uh, the cheapest way if you want to do this. I'm going to try to squeeze some of that juice out of there. There's not a whole lot comes off of it because it's already crushed. So it says one large can of crushed pineapple. That's one eight ounce can of block of cream cheese. One can of food club condensed sweetened milk. One block of eight ounce cream cheese. One can of pineapple. And one can of eagle brain. They're not eagle brain, they're Stir that up a little. And then also it says uh, one can, it says a small can of oranges. But I couldn't find any. This is also food club. Seems like I use a lot of food club, but that's good. I like food club. And I'm going to drain the um, juice off of these. You don't need the juice in this pot. Alright, and I'm going to wait just for a minute before I put them in there. Uh, because it says it takes a little bit of lemon juice and I'm just going to put just like a lead full. Uh, it says a half a cup, but I found that that's just way too much lemon juice. So I'm just putting a good lead full. And what that probably does is just keep your fruit fresh. And then I've got to chop up some pecans. And it says a half a cup of nuts. one eight ounce block of cream cheese in there and that's at your choice. One can of condensed sweetened milk, your choice. One large can of pineapple. Uh, three fourths cup of uh, pecans. And now we're going to go ahead and put the mandarin oranges in there and that's drained. And I'm just going to boil it. coconut in mine so I'm not going to use it. I'm not sure that my grandson would like it with coconut. So what we're going to do next is uh, you take one large container of Cool Whip or you take two small ones. Mm 
this has been frozen, it would have been better. Just do things on the spur of the moment, guys. So I'm going to try to get this stirred up in here, and I'm going to start out real slow. a whole lot guys. Now, like I said you can put a half a cup of coconut. I just don't remember my recipe uh, having coconut in it. And also you can put marchino cherries in it. What I thought I might do is just put a couple on top. put your cherries on top of that one would be a really pretty uh, presentation if you were taking it somewhere.
And this is really good, guys. So I, I can tell by looking at it, it's probably going to be more than enough for those, for this. So you're going to be able to do two of these. And I'm thinking about putting some Cool Whip on top of that, too. And, and maybe putting a cherry or two, marshmallow cherries. Everybody don't like the cherries in it, so that way they can pick it out. But I don't feel any big lumps, so I'm going to go ahead and start to pour this. And you can see it's really thick already. So that's going to make a huge, huge pie. So I'm going to go in there, guys. I'll put you on hold and get my little pie crust. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Make sure you're on there. Yeah. So we're back. I'm going to get this pie and get it in the refrigerator. Get these. These are so good. This pie is so good, guys. Especially in the summer around the holidays. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these six little pie crusts in here. And that way I can just take them straight to the freezer. See there? And then I, I'm telling you guys, this looks like there's going to be enough for another six, but I don't have the pie shells. So what I'm going to do is just put it in there. put my leftovers in a, a sealed container and put it in the freezer. That way when I get some more pie shells I can just take it out and then throw it, take a mixture and beat it up and put it put it in the pie shells. Well I messed that one up didn't I? That'll be alright. So these are really really full. Set that right here, and I'm gonna knock that one off. I don't like it messy on it. All right, guys. All right, we've got these. I'm trying to just get a fourth filled it in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a lid on this, and I'm gonna take it, and put it in the freezer. If I can get just a little bit more in that. this good and cold I'll take it back out and let you guys see it before I'm going to put a uh, cool whip on it mm -mm. That is so good. and so light let me get this mess up right here I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator for right now It out good. Let me rinse it out. And I'm going to 
put that on there and I'm gonna stick that in the refrigerator. I said freezer, but I'm putting the little ones in the freezer. And I'm gonna put the big one in the refrigerator till it sets up and gets real good and firm. And then that's when I'll put my uh, Cool Whip on it with a cherry or two just for decoration. See that there? That's a good size. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna put these in the freezer, and then I'm gonna find me a container to put the rest of that. You see, they would have been plenty for two great big huge pots, or one huge one. And then uh, one, uh, 12 of those little pie pans. All right, so that's it for the uh, million dollar pie. Uh, that recipe is one block of eight ounce cream cheese, one can of condensed milk, one large can of crushed pineapple drained, one half cup of coconut, your preference, a half a cup of nuts, and that's usually pecans, a lab full of lemon juice, a large container of Cool Whip, or two small ones, and it says two graham cracker pie crust, uh, one large can of mandarin oranges, or two small ones. So what you do is you mix all that up, you pour it in your pie crust, and you let it get cold, okay? So I'll show you the finished product when we get it back out and cut it, okay? So that's a million dollar pie, and that, that recipe makes two deep shell uh, graham cracker crust pies, or one large one and 12 of the little ones. So, and then this you can freeze too and take it whenever you get ready to use it, okay? So this is Sheila E. with that million dollar pie, and I'll see you soon, okay?